Right then, back out on the bass hunt again, guys. Um, I'm fishing one of my favourite bass marks in North Wales. Uh, I never fished this beach before uh, this early in the year, but uh, I couldn't resist the conditions with uh, literally perfect tonight. Uh, northwest, northwest of the wind, up to 15 mile an hour. Not too rough, not too calm. It's just perfect and a uh, big tide. Uh, always done well with the north vessel and a big tide here. So I know it's first of April today. It's uh, April's Fool's Day. See uh, if you can full couple of us out tonight. Yeah, um, got here three hours to low tide now. Um, I've got my uh, good old faithful pump with me. It's a 30 mil uh, custom made uh, bait pump. Over there about three years now. Uh, it was second hand when I bought it, but it's still going strong. Does the job. Yeah, um, while, while I'm fishing, I'm just gonna get a fresh uh, black look. I've got a couple of wraps of a uh, frozen look with me, but uh, always a uh, better chance with a uh, fresh look. Uh, there might be some flatties about as well, so you never know. Might uh, chuck in a, one uh, flatter rig out and uh, one bass rig out. Yeah, uh, high tide about midnight tonight, but uh, I'm only fishing about uh, well three hours down now, and uh, probably three hours up. Uh, this fish it seems to fish uh, on the on the way, whilst the tide's flooding in about two or three hours, and then goes dead over high water for some reason. So we'll get down to the beach now, uh, get setting up, and uh, hopefully get a few worms out. And uh, get a couple of bass out tonight. I'll uh, I'll show you the conditions in a minute. It's uh, pretty blowy out there, but um, I'll sh nice uh, rollers coming in. So perfect uh, tide rushing out. So get down to the beach and uh, set up. So these are the conditions, guys. Lovely bit of rolls coming in. Loads of seagulls there. Uh, having a piece on the shellfish there, loads of shellfish here washed up. Yeah, um, lovely. Perfect tide, perfect wind direction. I don't see why not uh, we get a couple of bass out tonight. So low tide is quarter to seven. Ideal time as the sun going down. Uh, perfect time for bass. Uh, as you as you know uh, bass feed better on the crack of dawn and uh, on the dusk so we got a half a chance today right, let's get uh, get all the gear set up and then send the bait out and then wait wait the tide to go down get onto the look beds pump some fresh look but stay tuned guys uh, I'm quite optimistic so we'll uh, hopefully get some bass out today so catch you guys in a bit these are the pros and look guys you frosted not the best definitely not the best for bass fishing but uh, while the tile going out uh, you said they're not fishing, yeah, they'd rather fish, so hook, hook is on, I'll show you the rigs as well. Uh, today's choice is for bass fishing, uh, my usual bass rigs, two, two hook flopper with the panel set up on, uh, circle up there, and a four of uh, worm hook there, bait holder, uh, same here. Uh, Chase is about a foot long, not long at all. Six ounce lead. Exactly the same setup, with the, but this time uh, I've got a leak tubing on here. Just keeps the uh, hooks in it uh, off the rig body there. So it doesn't tangle in the tide. Same, six ounce lead. Uh, tide's going out. All I'm doing is just a uh, cast bit behind the first breakers there for bass about 40-50 yards out uh, not far at all that's how we, how we get in the bass but uh, this gull is uh, just empty now in front of me I'm gonna get onto that sandbank 
and uh, get fishing guys right let's bait them up and get out there Right, we're fishing guys. That wind is a bit too cold. Uh, about 7 degrees now. Uh, it's going to drop down to north about uh, 10 o'clock tonight. But we'll be starting to pack up, packing up then. But uh, I've got one of my subscribers joining up later on. He said he might bring you a fire, so I might put fire on. If you can. And uh, wind dying down later on as well, so it might be ideal for fire. Uh, yeah, I'm cast it as far as I can. Right inside road. Left. This overhead pump there again. Uh, probably 40 yards out. Uh, not expecting much to be honest right now. I'll be waiting there, uh, tired to go out. It fishes as soon as it slacks slack water and uh, the other plug. That was last summer anyway, towards the end of last summer. As soon as that tide turned, Bang, 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 we got about two hours time, two hour uh, time period there. And uh, fish after fish, uh, my best is about six bass out of here uh, in a session. Uh, biggest one out, out of here is about four pounds. But there's some mon monsters out monsters out, uh, out here. Uh, so hopefully beat, it, uh, beat the PB this summer. Right, uh, stay tuned guys. Hopefully get back to you with the fish. About an hour left, uh, low of tide now. I've uh, been busy pumping lug. Uh, I've got about 50, 50 uh, yellow tails and black, black lug there. It's going to be a lovely sunset. Oh, was that a bite? Road was rattling then. I have something on it. Anyway, beautiful evening. I think I'll carry on pumping more looks. Whatever I don't use. Uh, freeze up for the next session. That's the bait take care of, guys. I uh, got about 100 worms there, 100 uh, yellow tail, most of them, and a couple of smaller razor clumps which we found out on the on the beach, and uh, one crab there. So almost low tide now coming up to low tide so there's a sandbank in front of me I might have, I might have to wade out and uh, cast uh, from that sandbank yeah uh, just gonna bring bring these in <laughs> I didn't even uh, look at the rods at all just concentrate on the uh, pump and look so bring these back in bait them up and then send them back out and uh, it's almost time to fish um, like I said before, this uh, this mark fishes soon as that slack water, uh, and then when the side tide coming in. So best get uh, these rod uh, rod baited up with the fresh looks there, and uh, get casting out. Colin and Stacy turned up. Uh, Ch Field Sport. He's got a channel as well. Check him out. And uh, I've got a subscriber supposed to be coming sometime soon. Lovely evening. Uh, I think it will be dark in about 45 minutes time. Up to an hour, something like that. Yeah, uh, right. Let's bring these in and bait them up. Check this out for a bait, guys. Cracking bait that. Right, I'm gonna have to wait and then get on that sandbank and cast out. 
Here we go. That was hard work. Uh, really muddy here. So if you ever fish this man, uh, quite a bit of mud patches all over the place. Definitely need uh, volleys, but uh, weight is uh, obviously essential here, especially with the gullies uh, being deep. So yeah, one rod in the water, get the other rod out. Just had the first bite of the evening guys, left hand side rod, uh, close in, just before that sandbank, uh, definitely a flatty bite, um, lifted the rod, uh, felt, felt it a couple of times but I didn't take it, so just left it, or if it turns back, well the tyres full of it in now, that sandbank's covered. Uh, we should start fishing now. Fingers crossed. Nice sunset there. Bitterly cold, very cold. Like I said before, it's dropping down to north degrees later. So, come on, the fish. the fish we were after guys but I'll take it monster flounder <laughs> golden flounder could be a PB size of that right get it a nut that's tea sorted uh, looks like it's, it's taking a no is it no no caught in there Circle up there nicely, not going anywhere. Beautiful, nice hook up. What a size of this! Cracker, really nice. There we go, guys. 39 centimeters, nice chunky flounder. Uh, I'm not sure it's a PB or maybe equal to PB. I think it was my PB was 38 or 39. I can't remember now. But yeah, nice, uh, nice chunk to flounder. Happy days, Blanc's beating, guys. Nice flounder. Oh. Was that a bite then? Tide rushing in now. Uh, massive tide for North Wales, 8.5 meter. Oh, it's gonna come in quite fast. Temperature dropping dramatically. Freezing, hands are numb. Uh, that might affect the bass fishing tonight, I don't know. Uh, load, it, load a bit of the sea out there. Really nice sea. Plenty of chop and uh, loads of movement. Looks promising, but temperatures are very, very low for the for the time of year. It's like a winter again. Um, bit of a difference from last weekend. It was 80, 90 degrees. Now we're dropping down to north degrees tonight. Freezing. Yeah, nice lovely flounder. Uh, beat the blank. Uh, that will be the tea for the tomorrow. Uh, Kiss love Flanders. Hopefully, get at least one bass. That's the target. Either way, nice, uh, nice evening to be out. Just a bit freezing. Oh. 
Yeah, stay tuned guys. Uh, hopefully we'll get a couple more fish out uh, this evening. We are, we've only got about a couple of hours left here to fish. So, stay tuned. Hopefully we'll get back here soon. Colin beat his blank with the flounder, is it? Flounder, yeah. Yeah? Oh, not very size, is it? It's all right. He's been on for a while. <coughs> just tapping and tapping and tapping. Was it? Yeah, just yeah, left it. You missed a cracking bite, though. Yeah, I've just missed a nice bass bite as well. Ah, right. So... Yeah, he's not bad. But, yeah. Uh, not a bad fish. Yeah. He can go back and live live and another day. day until he's big enough to have chips with. <laughs> <laughs> nice one. You've struck the bottom for that, yeah? Yeah, just the one so far. What I see, though, isn't it? Nice conditions. Yeah. Off he goes. Oh, sweet. Golden yeah, calls. Nice. Not a blank. Hey, hey. hey watch out. Watch out. There we go, guys. Second flounder. Uh, off the evening. Well, very really hard work here at the moment. Tide coming in very really fast. So, happy with that. Second flounder. This one a bit, a bit small. I reckon this will go back to fight another day. Well, put there another flounder here, guys. Not many, really never. Long way out. Coming in. There they have it, guys. Third one. There we go. Third one of the evening. Turned out to be a party bash in this. <laughs> nice little flounder. Uh, long but very really thin. Right, get it on up. Get the sun back, I think. Got the tides there. Well, turning out to be another flat bashing video, unfortunately. But I'm not complaining, uh, some decent flounders coming out. So, got three flounders out so far. Uh, two and a bit hours after low tide. I reckon we got about an hour left here, and then usually goes dead. But that's in the, that's in the summer. And uh, wind dropping as well. So, not a bad evening for me. Uh, the uh, subscriber, uh, he's on the blank, calling at his uh, flounder, but they they gone home early. So far, so good. Uh, perfect uh, condition for bass, but it's one of them. Uh, it's going to be hit and miss. You might get one if you're lucky, if not. It's still early yeah, in the season, on the 1st of April. But, uh, we're trying. Uh, this will be the third uh, Flatty washing videos on the channel. Uh, I was out in Anglesey last weekend, uh, tried for bass. And uh, I'll put that video on my other channel. It's called Hack Fishing UK. Um, just got a few doggies then, no bass. It was easterly. Uh, this is the first uh, northwesterly in a while. So I thought when I seen the uh, wind direction, I thought, give it a go. But, uh, unfortunately, no bass shoving yet, but we keep at it. We keep at it, and uh, 
hopefully uh, we'll find one if not still a good evening had a few fish out what more can you ask yeah stay tuned guys uh, hopefully uh, get back to you with the fish chunky white in there well done well done bud long speaking <laughs> not the fish we're after but better than blank eh better than blank well done bud Still a fish. Still a fish? Yeah. Well done. Nice, nice size lighting. Yeah. Beautiful. When I seen the northwest of the wind, I thought, yeah, I might have a good chance of bass uh, today. But um, but the temperature has been freezing literally the last uh, few days, uh, down to minus. Uh, where I live anyway, uh, it was dropped down to the north now, north degrees. Um, yeah, about midnight now. But um, still happy with a few flounders. Uh, one possibly a PB. Uh, I'm not sure. I need to double check my uh, the longest flounder. Uh, possibly the same. I'm not sure if it's 38 or 39. Anyway, a nice chunk of flounder for tea. Yeah, um, unfortunately another flat fish video, but um, better than no video I suppose. Uh, get the algorithm going because uh, I've not been much active on the channel the last few months. I uh, just got a two video out in the last couple of weeks. One was from Mostyn, uh, place fishing. That was a good session with Adam. Uh, the other one was uh, with Carl in New Brighton. Uh, if you haven't checked them out, maybe... Uh, check them out see how i got on on there and uh another bus uh fishing the fail failure uh but um we got a few fish out and colin got a fish out and a uh, uh, subscriber joined us today uh ian uh they provided some uh, food and drinks so thanks for that buddy uh really appreciate it really enjoyed that uh good to meet you hopefully uh, meet, meet up again soon yeah, I better stop talking now. Uh, I'm gonna get up early in the morning again. Um, yeah, hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, if you have anything to say, please leave it down uh, down below in the comments comment section. Um, yeah, yeah, subscribe if you haven't already. Obviously, if you enjoyed the uh, content, uh, plenty more to come. Uh, Rays, Hoss, Conga, uh, hopefully Gilted from the shore. Uh, these are the targets maybe a taupe sometime in the summer and uh smooth on to uh, season nearly here it'll be probably end of the month end of the month huh so uh give them a go soon from uh probably go to talaka or my fish the um rock channel for the first time uh, give it a go on there yeah um Hope you guys enjoyed it uh, and I'll see you on the next next episode guys. Thanks for watching.